Hello Europe and welcome back to Chef's Choice. The last, Super Saturday, the last Super Saturday of the year is over and we finally have more than half of the songs for Tel Aviv. The first of the five selected songs yesterday that I'm going to talk about is Finland. But if you'd like to see my reviews of the other songs from Iceland, Portugal, Norway and Moldova, please subscribe so you don't miss them. And you will find all my earlier reviews as always in the playlist up here. Now about Finland. I feel like I could basically copy half of what I've said last year about their selection. Again, it was just about selecting between three songs for the same artist. I found it very strange when they announced their artist and only mentioned Darud. And on the Eurovision website he still is the only person mentioned as Finland's candidate. So first of all, I'm skeptical that a DJ that had literally one hit almost 20 years ago is a good fit for Eurovision 2019. And secondly, how can a DJ be your main performer when all he can do is stand on the stage in front of a fake laptop and synthesizer that isn't even plugged in because it's only a playback? So Sebastian Reimann, whose voice will be the only live element, isn't even worth mentioning, apparently. And then they released the songs one after the other and they sounded like they've been actually written and produced within this one week between their releases. They couldn't be more generic and like last year it didn't even matter which song they would send because they were all so basic and interchangeable. So I was particularly interested here to see how they performed the songs in the live shows and I have to say the stagings did help to make the songs more exciting. So let's talk about the song that won UMK, Look Away, in more detail. What's good? The staging did all the work here. Well, I think we have seen our fair share of cubes and boxes by now. This does work well and the production level was one of the highest of all the national selections. It could, and I guess it more or less will be reproduced exactly like that in Tel Aviv. The dancer and the projections and movement of the box get more attention than the acts and I actually think that's a good decision. Because what's bad in my opinion is basically everything from the song to the live voice and the expected hyped DJ behind the desk performance. Sebastian Reimann's voice could barely be heard during the verses. The chorus was fine but it still needed a lot, a lot of support from the background singers. It almost feels like it's only about the staging. They could use this as a contemporary dance interval act in Tel Aviv without live music. So it's a bit of a cop-out. Of course the contest lives from the performances as well, but the most important parts should be the song and the singer in my opinion. And that's a bit lost here. So what would I do? I don't think there's anything that we can do. I think together with the staging they got everything they can do with the song. I can't think of anything that could increase the success anymore. But overall is it a top or a flop? For now where there's still almost half of the songs missing, I think it might end up in a similar story as last year barely qualifying and then ending up quite low in the final. It is entertaining, but compared to the other songs, I think it will be clear that the song is too unimportant here. The juries probably won't appreciate it a lot, I guess, and the public won't give it enough votes to get it on the left side of the board. But what do you think? Would you have liked another of the three songs or didn't you care at all about it? Tell me in the comments below. For now, thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye!